everybody, I'm back again with another video, so grab yourself a drink and let's get going with this tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into settings and then scroll down to your security and restrictions. And make sure that your unknown sources is enabled. Uh, if you don't do this, then you won't be able to install anything other than what's on the Play Store. Now here is one of my favorite websites for pulling down ROMs. It is emuparadise.me. Now you can pull out ROMs and emulators and they have pretty much every gaming system known to man. So it's a really good resource and one that I highly recommend. I got a lot of my ROMs off of here. I know there's a lot of other ones and I'll be researching that and letting you guys know in future videos. Now let's get a game ROM. Um, I'm going to type in God of War and it's on the top there and it'll take you right to the link and you just have to scroll down to the part that says download the God of War. It'll even tell you which emulator works best on it which is kind of cool. Okay so once you click on the file you just select a position on your hard drive that you want it to save to and once it's completely downloaded you're going to extract the compressed file into a folder which will allow the emulator to recognize it so it's completely downloaded let's take it and let's right click and go to 7-zip and extract it and now there's a folder and it's a .cso format and that's what the emulator can read okay everybody here we go final thoughts time this is part one of the shield how-to tutorials in part two i will be going over the emulator ppsspp and how to install the rom god of war and show some gameplay I will have a RetroArch install and PPSSPP versus PPSSPP Gold versus RetroArch comparison videos and much more. Please subscribe if you want to catch those videos. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get the tech out of here. Please comment, like, or subscribe. Thanks for watching again.